G'day, I'm Gavin from Hurley Spline Fishing. We specialise in guided tours throughout Victoria, but we also take groups to Alaska, Chile, bone fishing Christmas Island, and our most popular one, New Zealand. So if that's where you want to go, come in and see us at our stores in Bentley and Lumsden. This is Paris flood again, which uh, we're just on the outgoing tide, and all the, the bigger schools will generally be with the incoming tide, isn't it? So, yeah. Yeah. And as you can see, there's a few people there. It's almost like the, uh, the picket line at uh, a New Zealand uh, on the Tongariro or something like that, or even Burke Street on the uh, Eildon Pondage. Quite, you know, a lot of people in a, in a row there because there's plenty of fish here around at the moment. A couple of days after that full moon is when you get some really big schools where the fish come in and gather, you know, in readiness to spawn. And you can target them then and you can quite often get some of the really big fish at that time as well. So, uh, yeah, it's a great time to be on uh, Paris Flat a couple of days after the full moon. A pressure on as he's swimming towards us. It's hard to tell what sort of size fish, but even the smaller ones have such a uh, like the power in them that you know they'll they'll rip off into the backing without any problem at all. But when you do get a big one, then you'll know you'll know you're alive just with that extra power they've got. Yeah, well that's three times he's taken a full fly line out into the backing. They're just good solid fish. I mean, bone fish are they're such a slender, powerful fish that uh, you just never get tired of catching. And in surroundings like this, and, and you do have to, I think, being a fly fisherman just gives you an excuse to, to travel to places like this. And uh, you do have to stop every now and then and have a look around and just see the amazing places that fly fishing takes you. And Christmas Island is definitely one of those wonderful weather in, compared to Melbourne at the moment which we're in the midst of winter so to come here you've got lovely warm crystal clear water beautiful fish everywhere you spend the, the week with a couple of mates in just stunning scenery it's just an incredible way to spend part of your life and uh, yeah fly fishing gives you that opportunity to do that literally all around the world doesn't give in, even when you think <laughs> it's about done. Yeah, he still just goes again. I'm sure I tightened that drag up, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Might be a nice fish, yeah. yeah. There you go, well, four times into the backing that he's ripped that off there. Just powerful fish, and I guess the difference when trout grab them they're a little bit soft um, fatty a little bit lazy I guess at times compared to say an Australian salmon you get that and they're very muscly and strong and, and go a lot further and then you compare that to a kingfish which is like stronger again and more powerful and then you come up to a bonefish which is just incredible they're just um, little little steel rockets and, and off they go and they use every bit of their muscle and their slenderness and that huge big tail to really uh, power away. And, and they'll uh, quite often will just measure the fish and there is a um, uh, like the length gives a, essentially a weight ratio because they're going to be all very similar weights based on the length. Oh, just in front of us there, yeah. There's a whole school, a rod tip and a bit away. But you can only catch one at a time. Yeah. Well, there you go. So we've got Gordon releasing one. I'm playing one and Cole's just hooked up now. Just love Paris Flat and bone fish. Beauty. Beauty. That's wow. a bumper, mate. 
that is a you, you will struggle to see but through the back there that is just massive isn't it that's a, that's a, that's a thumper that's a thumper <laughs> Just that silver on those are incredible. And the way you measure them is from the fork of their tail, which is there, and where it goes to to the nose. So we're, we'll measure it later. We're essentially a hand from the join of that rod. So we'll give that a measure later, and then we'll be able to guesstimate the actual size of that. But I would imagine... Um, oh, what does that feel like? He's in. Pretty good, what do you do? Oh, six or seven. Yeah. Yeah, wow. It's just so thick. Oh. He wants to get on, we'll let him go and do his thing. Put up a good fight though, one was a good one. It all came down to Simon's eyes. You can see that school in there to what just to normal people just looks like sameness. And he can see fish, individuals, and stuff like that. He's a bit of a superstar guide, actually, Simon. So we're lucky enough to um, have spent you know, quite a few days with Simon. So it's, it's good. And you learn so much every time you go out with guys because they teach you, um, you know, how to fish better. And that's essentially why you go fly fishing is to get better at it. You rely on blokes like this and they'll teach you to be a better fly fisherman and be a lot more successful.